Hey YouTube, this is Bill. This is a part two of the last video I made titled the, the Maui 5 Go battery operated portable speaker. And it was a great test and it outperformed the Bose S1 Pro as far as volume. So today I'm gonna do a test outdoors and I, and when anytime you're outdoors, you need your max volume because the wind and the fact that you don't have any room boundaries uh, really dissipates the volume. So I'm going um, with the Maui 5 Go and there'll be no bows involved. You're probably saying, well, what's all these bows bags in front of me? These, these are the uh, bags I have from all my bows equipment that I'm using, but uh, there's no bows equipment inside. So let me just run it down for you. On the far left, uh, the first bag is the Maui 5 Go Base. Okay, to the right of that is what I'm adding to this setup today is the JBL Compact. It's a fairly new unit, completely battery powered. Uh, the big bag in the foreground is the Maui 5 Go, the three columns that fit nicely in this bag and one speaker stand to hold up the JBL Compact. And that's it. Unfortunately, I'm not bringing a subwoofer. I, I, I would like to, but that would really uh, defeat the purpose of the title, which is a complete battery system. If I brought a subwoofer, which I do have, uh, the S, the Bose Sub 1, I would have to bring a power source. That's, that's another item. And I, I, I'm getting the feeling a lot of people don't want to run a sub off a power source. It's just too many things to bring. So this is the system I'm going to be testing. One Maui 5 Go with columns, one compact, JBL compact. There's only one cable involved, you'll see that. One XLR cable from the output of the Maui 5 Go into the JBL compact. It'll be a Bluetooth system, so there'll be no cables between the, the source, my iPad or phone, whatever I'm gonna be using, between the system, completely Bluetooth, and one speaker, pole, or stand. Okay, I'm ready to head out. See you there. Did someone say tight fit? Well, I got everything in. Forget about a subwoofer, there's no more room in this car. This is my 2002 Pontiac Trans Am. It's pretty small, but it fit. A couple of speaker, speaker standing in the back. Accessories, I'm ready to go. Okay, here we are. Believe it or not, all that equipment Came in two carries, two trips from the car. That uh, shoulder bag on the column really came in handy. So I had the columns over my shoulder. I had one speaker in each hand, and then I made another trip for the accessories. Pretty compact system. Let's see how loud it is. Let me set it up. Okay, here we are, all set up. It's a nice little park. Uh, so on the left, we have the Maui 5 Go. And then about 15 feet apart is the JBL e Eon Compact, connected by one XLR cable. That's it. There's no power involved here, no power stations. So I got my fingers crossed this is going to work. Again, the geeky musicians, I'm sure they bring backup, either they bring backup units speakers themselves or backup power. I like the fact that there's very minimal equipment here, just two speakers, one pole, one cable using Bluetooth. For the people who are gonna to try to replicate the system, so here is your output from the Maui 5 Go XLR, one cable. I'm using a 15 foot cable take a walk over here and here's the JBL compact and then I'm just going into any channel again XLR to XLR some observations before we start uh, I'm so used to the Bose product the Maui 5 go when you turn it on it doesn't um, automatically connect to Bluetooth you have to physically go over to the unit press the button until the blinking light and then it connects again not a deal breaker but uh, it's so convenient for the Bose. It just connects every time, as soon as you turn it on, it's nice. 
Again, I mentioned this on past videos, the JBL Compact. Um, let me show it to you actually what I'm talking about. So here is your um, battery indicator. It's just a light uh, and it, as the battery depletes, it goes progressively down. It's kind of hard to read exactly where you're at. Um, again, compare the Maui 5 Go, it has a series of uh, round lights and you can tell exactly where you're at percentage wise. I want to explain exactly why I'm bringing two battery powered speakers besides the extra power a second speaker will always give you, plus the, um, the nice stereo spread you have when two speakers are used left and right. Even though it's not technically real stereo, they're both playing in mono, but it gives you the illusion of two sound sources left and right. No, but the main, the main reason I'm using the JBL is I mentioned again in the first video, the Maui 5 Go, the top end is kind of uh, rolled off, a little muffled. So using the JBL, which has a nice EQ feature right here, I'm able to EQ the, the speaker, the second speaker, and add some nice high end that the Maui 5 is missing. Uh, here's the, the app. It's a great app, the JBL Eon app. Again, the Maui 5 Go doesn't have this app. Uh, I have it set to five. That's as loud as it goes. And then the, if you go to the next step up, which is seven, it starts clipping on me. It starts hitting the red light. So this is about as loud as it's gonna go. Uh, let me show you the EQ feature. So there it is, EQ. Right now I have it, everything flat, but I'm gonna add that treble in a little while. The, the EQ is really extensive. You can hear I'm leaving the lows down, I don't need uh, more lows. The, the Maui 5 gives me plenty of lows, but I'm raising the mids and the high end. So the EQ on the JBL Compact is really uh, great. The only thing I'm really missing on this app is a mute function on each channel. Again, I'm on the EV line, they have a mute, and that's just really nice where you can cut it out instantaneously, just listen to your your first speaker, which in this case is the Maui 5 Go, and then you take your, the mute off and you hear how the second speaker fills it in. This, this speaker, I have to physically bring it down to zero and then bring it back up to where I was at. Kind of a hassle, another extra step. I much prefer the mute, but on these firmware speakers that are able to be updated, hopefully um, the company will, that's something they might add in the future. Bose also doesn't have anything like that on their app. So EV, for the people that are interested, has the best app that, out there, in my opinion. Okay, I think we're ready for our max dB sound test. I remember, outdoors is a challenging environment, especially for a battery powered speaker. No AC power out here, no subwoofer. We got a slight wind, and you might notice we got some car noise in the background. Here comes one right now. So take all those factors into consideration. And I was just thinking if you actually needed more power, again, AC not available, you can daisy chain another speaker off of the JBL Compact. It has an output, and I do have another powered speaker, but at what point uh, is it kind of defeating the purpose carrying so many speakers? I think two is kind of the maximum most anybody would want to bring. But if you were really in a pinch, in a battery powered situation, you can output Daisy Chain is another third speaker, battery powered off of the compact. Wow, I'm surprised, 97.2, it's pretty good for outdoors. Again, you have no sound reinforcement from any kind of walls out here, just completely open space, and it sounds excellent. Again, 
adding that second JBL compact just adds the high end from the EQ I was able to do that the Maui 5 Go is missing. I'm curious uh, how much that second speaker, the JBL Compact, is adding volume-wise. I know it's adding uh, excellent high end, like I mentioned. So here I pulled the JBL down, basically I muted it, and I'm gonna play that same tune again, just the Maui 5 Go, and we're gonna see what kind of volume we get. Okay, 94.4. So definitely that second speaker adds quite a bit. But if you notice, the Maui 5 Go by itself still sounds great out here. Uh, I know I couldn't get that kind of volume from one Bose S1 Pro. Impossible, 90, almost 95 decibels outside with a slight wind. But that second speaker definitely adds, uh, like I said, that top end, and it adds some dB. My... my um, Ideal system would be to add my Bose Sub-1 to this little system. Uh, of course, then you would have to be adding an external power source. So this is what I'm talking about. Here, I've been playing out here for an over an hour now at max dB, max volume, which drains batteries even faster. And my battery gauge has not gone down at all. I'm still at three green, which at the highest level. You compare that to the JBL, uh, I basically don't know where I'm at as far as the battery, especially in the sunlight. I can't even see that battery gauge. So this is a really great feature that, that I think is a plus. Again, Bose doesn't have this, but Bose through their app, they do have a digital readout with an exact percentage, which is very nice. But th this is my favorite actually. Okay, as a wrap up, um, to the date, to this date, this is pretty much the best um, battery operated outside system that I've set up with the most volume I have gotten from many of my systems. Of course, I have two Bose S1 Pros. To tell you the truth, I've never actually done this test outside with them. That may be something I can do in the future, but I can't give you an exact figure. But I'm going to guarantee it 100% that's not going to be as loud as this setup. I just know that for a fact. So, uh, what comes out in the future? Is a mystery but right now at this date this is about as loud as you can get from without ac power without any portable power unfortunately there's no subwoofer i love some extra bass added to these type of systems but that would again you would have to add a external power source which isn't such a big deal but it's another couple of hundred dollars about four hundred dollars for the one i use just one more thing to carry. So that's the holy grail right now. People are still looking at it. When will a battery powered subwoofer come out that matches up with the S1 Pro or something like the Maui 5 Go? Uh, they do have a battery powered subwoofer. I believe it's by Yorkville, but it's really weak. It's only puts out uh, a little more than 100 watts, something that I wouldn't even spend my money on. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, we'll see you the next time. Bye. I just had to mention the teardown. You know, I've actually never measured, timed um, a teardown or, or a setup with my mixer setup, but this took exactly, with by my stopwatch, three minutes and 30 seconds. Every cable, every speaker tucked away in the bag, pole, disassemble, everything. Three, I can't believe it. Three minutes and 30 seconds. I just had to share that with you. Another thing that I forgot to mention is the fact that you don't have a mixer set up. Even though I love my little Yamaha mixer. But again, this system, uh, mixer is not necessary. Just one less thing to carry. Okay, that's it. Later.